so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi! Hi, and I'm Mika! And look at where we're at. We're at Artists at Play! Yep, in Seattle, Washington. And this place is so cool. You can play like an artist. That's right. You can climb, you can dance, you can even make music. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, wow. cool. This looks like the yellow song fence. Whoa, a song fence? That sounds cool. I wonder how you do it. Whoa. Look at these balls. Interesting. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds great. Yeah. They sounded a little different. Yeah, let's hear it again. Oh. This one was higher than that one. Yeah, mine was a little lower. Wait a second. Let's widen out and see what that sounds like. Good idea. Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah! My side is higher pitch. Yeah, and my side is lower. Let's go even wider. Okay. Ready? Yep. Ooh, that was really low. Whoa! <laughs> this side is high, and that side is low. Yeah. Wait a second. Since you're good at singing, let's check your pitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah! Good job, Mika. Yeah. You're a great singer. Thanks. Let's check your pitch. Okay. Let's come up here. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Not bad. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Wait. I have an idea. Why don't we start down there and go from really high? Wait. That side was low, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the low side. Okay, go from really low down to up to really high. Yeah, we can hear all the notes. Come on. All right, ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, great job, Mika. <laughs> Thank you. Shall we keep playing? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> You want to go higher? Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> I'm going so high! Yeah! Do you want to turn? Yeah! All right, here I go! Whoa! Nice. Yeah, that was awesome! That was so cool! Thanks, Mika! Whoa! All right. All righty. How high do you want to go? Whoa, well, maybe not as high as you. I might fly right over. <laughs> You're so funny. Ready? <laughs> yep. Here we go. The swing is making sounds like a bell. Oh, yeah, it is. Wow, it's so peaceful. Yeah. A little higher? <laughs> sure. All right. Whoa, look how high I am. Yeah, <laughs> you are going so high. Whoa. Whoa. Are you having fun? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, we make some great music <laughs> yeah, together. Yeah, this place is cool. Yeah. Whoa, speaking of cool, check this out. What is this? Wow. Whoa, a really big rock. Whoa, and really small rocks. Whoa. Whoa. What are these? Maybe you just play with rocks. But there's things dangling inside. Oh, you're right. Wait, huh. what if we drop rocks on them? Try it. What a fun way to make music! Oh, yeah, and there's some over here! Oh, let's try it out! Whoa, this one only has two, a big one and a small one. Yeah, I wonder if one will be high and one will be low. All right, let's try it out! All right, ready? Yep. Okay. Wow. Oh. Oh. So the small one made a high-pitched noise. Yeah, and this one, the bigger one, made a lower noise. Oh, hey, 
I have an idea for a very, 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 very fun game. Oh, what is it? <laughs> okay, I will drop rocks on these two items. Uh huh. And then if it's the high pitch, you jump high. Okay. And if it's the low pitch, you squat down real low. Awesome. Oh, will you play with me? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. I'm going to just use my ears and listen. Hey. Mm -hmm. Every single one right. Nice. You did a good job too. Good job. <laughs> well, shall we? Yeah, let's keep looking. Oh, Mika, check oh, it out. Oh, that looks like so much fun. <laughs> wow. This is a jungle gym and it looks like it's made out of rope. Yeah, and you can climb up the rope, which is so cool. Yeah. Wait a second. Why don't we climb up higher than where we're at right now? Yeah, and things will look differently up high. That sounds like fun. Let's, Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. This is going to be fun to see what we can see up here. Yeah, we can climb really high. Whoa, you're doing a great job. You too, Bliffy. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Whoa. This is cool. We can see so much from up here. Yeah, we're really high up. We can see the whole playground. Oh, yeah. There's the swings. Whoa. And Whoa. where we made some music. Yeah. Oh. Hey, guess what I have? What? I brought my... Telescope! Whoa! Cool! Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> you scared gotcha. me. Gotcha! And check it out! The Space Needle! Whoa! It's so high up! Yeah! Hey! What? I wonder if we can get even higher, as high as the Space Needle! Oh yeah! If we go to the top of the Space Needle, I bet we're gonna see things differently from yeah. way up high! And probably see even more! Cool! Let's go! Okay! Whoa, Blippi, check it out. The elevator that will take you up 52 floors. Whoa, that's really high. I'm excited. I know, me too. <laughs> Wait a second. I have an idea. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. A, a race. race. <laughs> I'll take the stairs. And I'll take the elevator. All right, and we'll see who wins. Yes, let's do it. Ready? Yep. Three, Three two, two, one, go. I can't believe I get to go to the very top of the Space Needle. I wonder if I'm going to be Blippi. This elevator's really fast. Did you know that the Space Needle is over 600 feet tall? That's more than 180 meters. Very, very tall. Whoa, we're so high up now. Oh, I think we're almost to the top. 830, 831, 832! Yeah! I made it to the top of the Space Needle! Oh, I am very tired though. Oh, that's a lot of steps. But wait a second, where's Mika? Hey, Blippi! Oh, hey, Mika! You made it to the top of the Space Needle! Yeah, I can't believe you got here first! Well, I am pretty fast. You are really fast! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Wow! What a beautiful view! Yeah, come look! And it looks like there's a deck right here. Oh, this must be the observation deck! You are so smart, Mika! <laughs> Shall we go check it out? Yeah, let's do it! Whoa! Whoa this place is awesome! Yeah, check out this incredible view! Whoa, and do you see all that water? Oh, that's called the Elliott Bay. Oh, it is? Yep. <laughs> wow, I bet there's a lot of fish in there. Oh, I bet you're right. Oh, I see a lot of boats. Oh, and buildings and yeah. green trees. Oh, yeah, so pretty. Yeah. Did you know <laughs> these trees are called evergreen trees? They stay green year round. So cool. <laughs> yeah. Some people call Seattle the Emerald City because of all of the green trees. Because Emerald is green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mika. Why is this place called the Space Needle? It's hmm. not like we're up in space. <laughs> That's true. Well, in the World's Fair a really long time ago, it was space themed. So they built this tower that 
looks like something maybe you'd find in space, right? Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, we're so high up. I feel like we are getting close to space. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, shall we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this has been wow. so much fun. Yeah. Whoa, cool. Oh, oh. Whoa, what? Mika, watch out. Oh, you almost me. fell through. It's okay. It's a glass floor. Whoa, are you sure it's safe and yep. strong? It's actually 10 layers of glass, which means it's as strong as walking on concrete. See? Whoa, be careful. <laughs> totally Do you think safe. it's safe enough for me to come on too? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it feels kind of funny. You got this. Whoa. Whoa. All, right. Whoa. All right. There you go. All right. See? Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I guess it is safe. Whoa, <laughs> this is really cool. I know, right? Oh, and look down there. Yeah, you can see all the way to the ground. Yeah, everything looks so small. Uh-huh. Shall we lay down? Oh, good idea. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Wow, they look like ants, but they're actually people. Yeah, it's so teeny tiny. Whoa. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Wait a second. Mika, do you see what I see? We're moving. Whoa. Yeah. A rotating glass floor? Yeah, and it's the only rotating glass floor in the world. Whoa, cool. This is awesome. I know, it's really fun. Whoa. Uh, yeah. And if it rotates and goes all the way around, we can stand right here and see the whole city 360 degrees. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. Speaking wow. of cool, look at the view. Yeah. Look at all of those houses. Wow. That building is so big. Whoa, really big. <laughs> but not as tall as this tower. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, wow. and that's a big lake over there. Oh, yeah. What do you see? Oh, I see some traffic over there. Whoa. Oh, there's a football field. Whoa, cool. That looks like fun. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of fun, the playground we were on oh, earlier. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, do you want to get a closer look? Uh, yeah. How do we do that? I brought binoculars. Whoa, cool, Mika. <laughs> yeah, you want to share? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Wow, let's look out there. Whoa. Whoa, look at that person. Oh. Cute oh. bag. Hello, sir. Oh. oh, I wonder where he's going. Oh, in a big hurry, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look up here. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, a rainbow. It's so colorful. Yeah. Oh, I love rainbows. Yeah, do you know how rainbows are made? Oh, tell us. Well, light shines through a bunch of water molecules, and then it creates a rainbow. Yeah, and they're so pretty. <laughs> wow, this has been so much fun up here. Oh, what a cool way to see the city. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Do you know what day it is? Rainbow day. It's rainbow day, yeah. Flippy, how you doing? Red and orange.
Rainbow Day. It's so colorful. Wow, wasn't that so much fun playing at the artist of play? Yeah, we made such cool music with those sound machines. <laughs> oh, and it was really fun racing to the top of the Space Needle in Seattle. Yeah, Flippy, you were really fast. Well, it was really tiring. That's a lot of stairs. Yeah, I was <laughs> impressed. Yeah, speaking of impressed. Yeah, the view was incredible. Yeah, and this glass floor Whoa. was so awesome. Yeah, I love the Space Needle. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with us? Yeah. <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I -P -P -I. Blippi! Good job! Hey, will you spell my name with us? Cool! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H Mika! <laughs> Alright, see you again! Bye-bye! <laughs> Come on everyone, let's make learning fun to learn about it'll make you want to shout Blippi so much to learn about it'll make you want to shout Blippi oh, hey it's me Blippi hi and I'm Mika and today we're here at the New York Fire Museum in New York City New York <laughs> yep New York City is a really big city with a ton of people mm -hmm. in it and it's so loud <laughs> that's <laughs> right and firefighters have a very dangerous job of putting out fires. So they have a lot of training they have to do before they become firefighters. Whoa! Firefighters are so cool! Yeah! They're the real heroes! Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> and they help put out fires and save people! <laughs> They're just awesome! They really are! Let's go in and explore! Okay, come on! <laughs> oh. <gasps> Let me check it out! Look! <laughs> Whoa, look at these! Whoa, oh. these are fire alarms! Yeah! Fire alarms are really important because it's a way you can tell firefighters there's a fire! Emergency! <laughs> yeah, maybe you've seen a fire alarm in the building that you live in or in a school. They're mm -hmm. usually a lot smaller than this. Really tiny! <laughs> These are so big! They're so big and they're all around the city! Yeah! In New York City, on the street, you might see one of these! Yeah! Check it out! Whoa! Lift this up and you pull this down and it sends an alarm to the fire station so that they can come and put out the fire! <laughs> yeah! And look! There's a number on it! Yep! One, one, three! Ooh! And mine has one too! Nine, three, Seven! Oh, what do those mean? <laughs> yeah! If you pull this fire alarm, this number helps the firefighters know where to go. Yeah, in the firehouse, the fire station, <laughs> a bell would ring nine times, it would ring three times, and it would ring seven times. So oh. the firefighters know where to go. <laughs> That's so cool! And you can still use these today. You can? Yeah, they still work? That's right! Even though they're kind of old. Yeah, they still work! <laughs> yeah. Whoa. And they're made out of metal. Yeah, nice and sturdy. Yeah, this one's so pretty. Oh, it looks so old, like Rockefeller Center. You're right! So beautiful. That's awesome. <laughs> hmm. Speaking of fighting fires, I wonder what firefighters used to wear. Oh, well, I'm glad you asked because I see something over here. Come on. Oh, no way! <laughs> Check it out! Whoa! Yep, see. Oh, Flippy? Hello! <laughs> Whoa, look at this! Yeah, firefighter jacket! Whoa! Oh, you should try this on, Flippy. Oh, oh, no way! It's a New York City fire helmet! Yep. Whoa! Look, these are so important because they're nice and hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, to protect the firefighter's head. Whoa, and look, it has a number on it. Do you see? A three and a zero. The number is 30, yeah. And look, it has this big, looks like, kind of like a patch. Yeah. yeah. It's the color black. 
Yeah, I wonder why some helmets are red and some are black. Oh, yeah, because they have different vehicles. <laughs> if it's the color black, then it's a fire engine. But mm, let's say it's the color red, then it would be a fire truck. <laughs> oh, and a fire truck has a ladder on it, right? Yeah, that's right. And a fire engine has a really big hose. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, let's try it on. <laughs> okay. Here we go. How does it feel? Whoa! Whoa! Is it heavy? <laughs> it's so heavy! Whoa! 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 Look! And, hmm, oh, I have goggles! <laughs> yeah, you have double protection! Yeah. Glasses and goggles! Whoa. Or a shield, I guess! <laughs> a shield! Whoa! Look! It also yeah. protects my hair and my eyes from any really hot, hot fire! Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> super important for firefighters to protect themselves when they're fighting fire. Mm -hmm. You can also wear this jacket, Flippy. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I'm starting to look and feel like a real firefighter now. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. These Check jackets are so important because they protect you and they're made out of fireproof material. Oh, fireproof? Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Yeah, it helps so that firefighters don't get too hot when they're really close to the fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fire resistant. Yeah. <laughs> And this is a firefighter jacket, too. Whoa. Oh, I put my arm through the wrong hole. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> there you go. Whoa, that's good. Oh, and why, why would you wear one of these jackets? Now, this you would wear if you're going to a nice event or maybe marching in a parade. Oh, I love parades. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, firefighters are awesome. Yeah, look, and sometimes firefighters get a little chilly, so they just need to wear a regular jacket. Yeah. So, they have jackets like this. Yeah. Whoa, and look, it has a really cool patch. Oh. Yeah, it says City of New York. <laughs> yeah, because that's where we are. Yep. Whoa, <laughs> this is pretty cool. Yeah. Learning all about the things that firefighters need to fight fires. Yeah, <laughs> let's keep exploring. I really want to find a fire truck. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Whoa. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> Wow! Oh, it looks like this is the very first fire engine. <laughs> That's right, and look how small it is. Yeah, you see, it's so small. Yep, oh. and this. Whoa! Whoa! What's this, it's a big pole? Yeah! Oh, whoa, it's so big. <laughs> yeah, oh, hey, I think it goes up there. Oh, you're right. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, look! Oh, and I think one goes on the other side. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! You got it? I think I got it! Look! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Easy! Whoa. Easy! easy. <laughs> okay! Whoa. Whoa! Check it out! Yeah! These posts would go on either side. <laughs> yeah! And two people would pump it on either side to help the fire hose work! Yep! It <laughs> took some serious teamwork! Yeah! The hose would connect to this part right here, and they would pump up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. <laughs> yeah! And Blippi, do you know what this is? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, what is that? It's so loud because it's the first fire siren. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, it's so loud. Yeah, isn't that cool? Ooh. Ooh. Can I give it a try? Yeah, of course. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Fire! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, the firefighters would use this to make sure that everyone knew there's a fire. You need to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, and what are these oh. buckets for? These are really sturdy, cool buckets. Everyone yeah. in the neighborhood would have one so that they could help put out the fire. Oh, yeah. I think it was called the Bucket Brigade. That's right, the Bucket Brigade. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Wow! Put out the fire with this because back then they didn't have fire extinguishers and sometimes it was hard to get hoses around to the right spot. Yep! Oh, Everyone would just work together. Yeah! Teamwork! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, and Mika, what's that over there? Whoa! Check this out! <gasps> Whoa, look how big this wheel is! Whoa, it's so big! It's almost as big as you! I know! Look. It's almost as big as me! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Whoa! Check it out! This looks like another fire engine! Hmm. Yeah! But this one doesn't have those hand cranks. No! Or the pumps. <laughs> no! No, this looks like it used steam! 
Yeah. Steam? Huh. Kind of worked like a kettle. Whoa. Maybe you've seen one of these before in your Ooh. kitchen? <laughs> yeah. If you want a cup of tea, you can just boil some water and steam comes out the top. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So that's what firefighters would use to put out the fire. Steam. Yeah. Steam can be very powerful. Yeah, oh. and very hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they would make a fire to put out a fire? What? Make a fire to put out a fire? <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> Ooh, and would they use this? Yes, they would use this coal. They'd burn the coal, start a fire right in here. Ooh. So imagine that this is like a giant kettle. Yeah, yeah. had water in here, fire down below. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was boil, boil. <laughs> <laughs> and then the steam would help to make the hose work. Yeah. Yep. It would turn all these gears and all the parts of the machinery. <laughs> yeah. And then it would make the hose work. Ooh, and look, there's a fire hose. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Check it out. This Ooh. is awesome. Well, I'm gonna go put up the kettle. Oh yeah, <laughs> good idea. Whoa. Oh, and did you know cool. that horses would pull this? Oh yeah, because back then, they didn't have vehicles that could thrive like today. No, they needed horses to help. That's so, right. Yeah, they yeah. would take care of them too. Oh, <laughs> look out, I think this thing's on. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh! I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Ah, whoa! Hey, look whoa. at this! There's another fire engine. <laughs> See? Wow, this one's even bigger! It's whoa. so big! <laughs> yeah, whoa. they just keep getting bigger and bigger with time. Oh, Mika! Huh? Hmm, there's a rope here. You want to pull it? Sure, I don't see a sign saying that I can't pull it. Yeah, I think we can do it. <laughs> whoa! Did you hear that? Whoa! Whoa! That's a really loud bell! Really loud! Oh, I see it up there! Yeah, you see it? Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's awesome! Yeah! Whoa. Now we have sirens, but back then they would use a loud bell so people knew that there was a fire and that a fire engine was coming through. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this! This fire engine doesn't look like it needed horses. Nope. It has wheels and tires, just like a modern day one. <laughs> and look, a steering wheel. Yeah. This engine actually had an engine. Whoa. Yeah, you've probably seen a steering wheel before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. Whoa, what's hmm. that? Well, only one way to find out. <laughs> Here we go. Tell people that there's a fire. Yeah, now sirens sound like But not back then. No, they sounded a lot different. Yeah, <laughs> loud noises are important to let people know that something very important is happening and to be careful and get out of the way. Mm -hmm. Ooh, well, that was pretty fun <laughs> learning about all these vehicles. Hey, maybe we could see some more fire engines. Maybe even a fire truck. Yeah, oh, I hope so. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Check out this fire truck. Whoa, what kind of truck is this? Hmm, it's really big and it looks like there are ladders on it. Yeah. Hey, this is a killer ladder truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. See the big ladders. Oh, it's so <laughs> big. Yeah. Why wouldn't they need ladders? So that they can climb up to the top of buildings. <laughs> yeah, and for really high places to put out the fire. Yep, that's <laughs> right. And if you look behind you there, Blippi, here's an old fire extinguisher. Whoa, yeah. Fire extinguishers are definitely helpful for putting out fires too. Yeah, <laughs> you may have one in your house even. Yeah, or see one at school. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Here, I'll help Here you get it out. It's Whoa, really it's big and heavy. Pretty heavy. <laughs> Whoa! This is so tall. Yeah. You know what it is? This is called a six foot hook. Whoa. <laughs> That's just what it is. Yeah, look, it's a little hook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and this is really helpful for firefighters a long time ago. Yeah, because they would break a hole in maybe the ceiling, the wall, so yep. that they could put some water with the hose through the hole. Yeah. 
break it, and then spray in the water. Yeah, it also lets the smoke rise up out of the building. Yeah, because smoke and heat rise. Sometimes right. a firefighter might need to break a window so the smoke can get out and the fire doesn't keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ooh. wow. Whoa, there, that's really cool. <laughs> it's really cool. Here, I'll help you. Whoa. <laughs> Here you go. And Mika, what's this? Oh, so this is where a driver would sit to help steer the back wheels. Yeah, this part is called the tiller. <laughs> yep, there are two drivers. Two drivers? One in the back to steer the wheels, and there's one in the front with the horses. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. You know that a tiller ladder truck? Yeah, it was pulled by horses. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, we don't do yeah. that anymore. <laughs> yeah, no horses today. But nope. back then, they needed horses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Engine. Wow, look at it. It's Whoa. so big and it's the color red. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and look, yeah. This is where the engine is. Yep. Whoa, this it's is so, so big. Cool. <gasps> and look, Flippy, a bell and a siren. Hey, yeah, we've seen a bunch of those today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a really cool fire engine because, yeah, it didn't use steam or manpower pumping <laughs> the hose. <laughs> no. It uses gasoline. Yeah, the hose runs on gasoline. Yeah, there'd be an engine. It yep. would make the hose work. Oh, <laughs> that's right. And if you look at the top here, Blippi, you'll see the hose. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> yeah, that's a big, powerful one. It's really strong Whoa. and a ton of water can come out of it. Whoa, yeah. There's a hose that a firefighter could hold, but if there was a fire really, really high up, <laughs> they could spray it with this giant sprayer. Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. Whoa. And what are these? Hmm. What are those? Huh. Hmm. Kind of hard. Wait a minute. Those are nozzles. Yeah. You're so right. That goes on the end of a hose. Yeah. So you can maybe spray a wider spray of water or a really narrow spray. Yeah. <laughs> so you can do whatever you need to put out the fire. Yep, that's so smart. <gasps> hey, we should pretend to be real firefighters. Oh yeah, that sounds super oh, fun. Do you hear that? Let's go put out the fire! Okay! Do the fire! Okay! Whoa! so much about firefighters, but <laughs> we should probably return our jackets. Oh, yep. <laughs> right. Wow. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> wow, and firefighters have been around for so long, keeping our neighborhoods nice and safe. Yeah, do so many things to help. <laughs> and they use a lot of equipment and gear. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Help put out those fires. Whoa, they're pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, firefighters, for being real life heroes and keeping everyone nice and safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, <laughs> here we go. B-L-I. P-P-I! So let me good job! <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Awesome! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H! Mika! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon! Bye-bye! See you later! <laughs>
Yeah. This is some cool technology. Technology is when you take something that you learn from science and then you make something with it, like this machine. Whoa, cool. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't I make a shape? Yeah, I'm gonna go like this, which stands for Blippi in sign language. All right, ready? Okay, take a picture. <laughs> All right. Whoa, yeah. See, I just said Blippi in sign language. And why that means Blippi is because this looks like my bow tie. Wow, I'm having so much fun. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, what a cool machine. Wow, all right, let's see what this does. Do you see how that ball is going on the track? Yeah, it started up top and it's going all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. Do you know how it does that? Yeah, it does that because of gravity. Cool. <laughs> yeah, gravity is what pulls everything down back to the planet Earth. Whoa, what is this? make some cool noise, but they actually stick together. Look, <gasps> I know what these are. These are magnets. All right, let's see if we can make a rainbow type shape. Yeah, we did it, cool. <laughs> wow, magnets are awesome. Whoa, look at this. Looks like a bunch of people jumping in the air. Whoa, I wonder why they're doing that. That's so silly. Jumping is so much fun, yeah. Oh, look right over here. Oh, that's where they were jumping. Oh, and look, measurements. One foot, two feet, three feet, four feet. Oh, and it looks like three feet is about one meter. Oh, hey, look, there's me. Okay, it says jump now. All right, let's see how high I can jump. <laughs> Whoa, there I go. Whoa, I am concentrating really hard. Whoa, almost four feet. Let's go check it out over here. Oh, there I am. Oh, we'll get rid of that one. Ooh, check this out. All right, here we go, Blippi. Yeah, you can push play. There I go, look at my face, I'm going, Whoa, I lifted my legs very high. Ooh, and look at this. Wow, and do you see? This is going really slow. Look, yeah, when I jump, I go faster than this. This is called slow motion. Wow, so cool. <laughs> Whoa, another fun activity. It says start here, exit there. I wonder what this does. Whoa, look, there I am. It's motion capturing me. Whoa, I can move fast. Whoa, and I can move slow. Slow motion. Oh, let's check it out on the screen. Whoa, cool. Hey, there I am. Yeah, see my body, my hands, my feet, and my head. All right, we can push play. Oh, there I am. Yeah, I'm dancing. Oh yeah, I moved fast. Yeah, and then I moved slow. Wow, motion capture is so cool. And this is so much fun. Oh, there I went. <laughs> I went bye-bye, bye-bye. Whoa, check it out. This looks like a racetrack, but hmm, I don't see any cars around here or planes to race. Huh, but it definitely looks like one because it looks like you start right here, you go down, you do a loop-de-loop, -loop, 
you do a second loop-de-loop, -loop, you do a third loop-de-loop, -loop, and then you go all the way to the finish line. Okay, let's see. What could we race around here? Oh, there's something. Yeah, a pail. Ooh, and do you see what's in here? <laughs> a ball just dropped out there. All right, let me pick it up. All right, and then we should probably race some of these balls. All right, how about... <laughs> so loud. <laughs> how about these three balls? We have one made out of stone, one made out of wood, and a hollow one made out of plastic. All right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, go! Yeah! Did you see that? Yeah, made it through the whole track. I wonder if this stone one will go. One, two, three, go! Whoa! All right. Now for the last one. One, two, three, go! Yeah! All three made it to the end. And did you see how they all start up top and then they all go down to the bottom? Yeah, because gravity is pulling them down. But then when the loop-de-loops happen, it slows them down because they have to go back up. You know, like walking up a hill, it's pretty hard. But going down a hill, it's way easier. Whoa! Wow! Look at all these cool things! I wonder what this does. Okay. Whoa, it sprays water when I push it through these tubes. Hey, and it spins this thing. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see if we can get this to spin. Oh, we might need to wait. All right, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, look, it's spinning now. Whoa, it's going so fast. Whoa! Wow! This is so much fun playing in the water! Whoa, look at this! Whoa, kind of looks like a corkscrew! Oh, I see what it's doing! It's actually bringing water all the way from the bottom all the way to the top! Oh, do you see it? It's pouring out the top! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, and look at all this water. It's like my hands are ducks. Quack, quack, quack. Hanging out in the water and flying in the air. Caw! <laughs> That's not a duck. A duck goes quack, quack, quack. <laughs> hey, look at this. All this water is stuck because this is in the way and this is in the way. Oh, it's like a dam, you know. Like what beavers like to make. Yeah, whoa. All right, let's see what happens when you open this up. All the water just came out. Check it out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I'm all wet from the water. Hey, we should probably go dry off. <laughs> Whoa, look at these. <laughs> Here we go. Let's dry off. Wow, I sure did have a lot of fun learning with you. 
Isn't science great? I know! Well, this is the end of this video. What? If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Hmm, I wonder what this is. <laughs> Whoa, I really wish I knew what this fossil was. Hmm, Ooh, I see someone, maybe they know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi Blippi, I'm Kevin, oh. and I'm a dino expert. Whoa, no way! It is so nice to meet you, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's a dino expert. Maybe he knows what this is a fossil of. <laughs> Whoa, well, Kevin, we found this fossil, but I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, I can totally tell you what this is. This is actually a tooth of an Edmontosaurus. Oh, a tooth? <laughs> Whoa, we didn't know what it was, but it's a tooth of an Edmontosaurus? That's right, yeah, that's this animal right here. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> the Edmontosaurus is so big! <laughs> oh, and look, it does have some teeth up there, and it looks like it has a duck bill. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> yeah, that duck bill was actually used to peck at leaves and pull them off the trees. Whoa, that is amazing! Huh, did it just eat leaves or other things too? Uh, no, this was an herbivore, which means it only eats plants. Whoa, yeah. Some dinosaurs were herbivores. <laughs> that means they like to eat lots of plants, but others were carnivores. <laughs> they like to eat meat, and some were omnivores. Yeah, that means they eat meat and vegetables and leaves and plants. <laughs> Whoa, oh, but this tooth looks like lots of teeth. Is this just one tooth? This is just one tooth. It looks like that because uh, this Edmontosaurus used to grind up its food to make it easier to eat. Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, that kind of reminds me of a cow. <laughs> Whoa, that's a pretty cool Edmontosaurus. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Its legs are so big. <laughs> Looks like it's really good at walking. <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. It used to walk on all fours, but if it needed to get higher, uh, like to get trees, leaves off of the trees, uh, it would stand up on two legs to get more height. Wow, did you hear that? <laughs> it could stand up just like you and me, or walk on all fours just like a little puppy dog. <laughs> Well, <laughs> <Ooh>, so silly. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, and I had one other question, Kevin. Yeah? Do all dinosaurs walk on the land? They do, actually. Oh. Yeah. Well, what about dinosaurs that fly in the air or are in the water? Those actually aren't considered dinosaurs. They're oh. called prehistoric creatures. Whoa, prehistoric creatures. Whoa. <laughs> Man, I really hope I can see a prehistoric creature one day. <laughs> hmm. Oh, do you know of any prehistoric creatures? I do actually have another one right here. And you know what? He's a little lonely. He needs a friend. Whoa, check it out. It's a prehistoric creature. Whoa. <laughs> and what kind of creature is this? This one's a trilobite. Whoa, a trilobite. <laughs> oh, well, we need to find this trilobite a friend. <laughs> Well, thank you, Kevin, for showing me the trilobite and this amazing dinosaur. <laughs> this was so much fun. <laughs> I'll see you later, Kevin. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's go find a friend. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many amazing fossils here, just like our little trilobite. Hello. <laughs> yeah, keep your eye out. We might need to find him a friend. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> oh, there's a person. Maybe they can help us. Hi! Hi, Blippi! I'm Laura! Oh, it's nice to meet you, Laura! <gasps> Whoa, and what is that? This is a trilobite! A really big one! Whoa, look! We have a little small trilobite and a really, really big one! <laughs> it's so big! And I bet they're gonna be great friends! Oh, yeah! Hey! Good friends like to dance! Let's do the trilobite dance! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> these trilobites are really good dancers. <laughs> wow, this is a really amazing fossil. Yeah, and these trilobites, they lived underwater? They did, they are prehistoric arthropods, which means that they're related to bugs and crabs. Whoa, did you hear that? This isn't a dinosaur, no. A trilobite is an arthropod? An arthropod. <laughs> Whoa, that is a really big name. It is. <laughs> but it just means that the trilobite is a really, really 
Oh, bug. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Laura, is this a dinosaur? No, actually, this is a prehistoric marine reptile. <laughs> Whoa, a prehistoric marine reptile? So it's not a dinosaur? No, it's not. Dinosaurs lived on land, but oh. there are other creatures that flew in the sky and swam in the sea, like yeah. this one. This is Tylosaurus. Ooh, hello, Tylosaurus. <laughs> hey, this is a Tylosaurus. This is a Tylosaurus. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Tylosaurus. Ooh, let's give it a name. We should call this Tylosaurus Tyler. <laughs> I think that's a great name. Hello, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> oh, and it looks like Tyler has a lot of teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and do you see? Tyler is really, really big. <laughs> he looks almost as big as a T-Rex. <laughs> he is. He's almost the same length as a T-Rex. You could call him the T-Rex of the ocean. Whoa, check him out. <laughs> Wow. He's really cool. Do you see that spot on his jaw that looks like a break? It's actually not a break in his jaw, it's a hinge. Tylosaurus could unhinge its jaw to swallow prey whole. Whoa, did you hear that? Tyler can unhinge his jaw. <laughs> yeah, you've probably seen a hinge before. Yeah, a hinge goes like this. <laughs> Doors have hinges and Tyler has a hinge for his jaw. So we can open up really wide, woo! <laughs> to eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching me all about prehistoric creatures. <laughs> I'll see you later, Laura. Bye. There you go. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking for some more dinosaurs and fossils. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, check it out! It's a Triceratops! <laughs> yeah, Triceratops were really big dinosaurs! <laughs> Look, they had three horns on their head. One, two, three! <laughs> and they were really big and really heavy! They could weigh as much as a truck! <laughs> That's over five tons! Hey, will you be a Triceratops with me? Okay, first you need three horns. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, roar! <laughs> well, today was so much fun learning about fossils and dinosaurs with you. <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Philippi, good job. Well, I'll see you soon, bye-bye. <laughs> Make learning fun, blippy, blippy. So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout, blippy. So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout, blippy. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippy. And today we're here at Up Flying Yoga in Los Angeles, California. <laughs> Whoa! And check it out, we're so high up in the sky. <laughs> Look, you can see the mountains and trees, even buildings. <laughs> well, I am so excited because you and I get to have fun doing aerial arts. <laughs> yeah, aerial means up in the air. <laughs> and we're gonna have lots of fun up in the air together. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> I'm swinging in this hammock. <laughs> Normally, you might want to take a nap in a hammock, but this one is great for swinging in, climbing on, and spinning. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, that's because this is an aerial hammock. Yeah, <laughs> you can do all kinds of things on it. Whoa, <laughs> it sure is fun. <laughs> 
Oh, but if you're doing anything with aerial silks or aerial hammocks, you want to make sure there's a grown-up nearby so you stay nice and safe. <laughs> okay, let's swing! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> Whoa! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, you can swing sitting down or you can swing standing up. Woo! <laughs> Here we go! Woo! <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> Whoa! I'm up so high! Hello! <laughs> Woo! I'm a bird! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, that's pretty silly. <laughs> but I think I want to spin some more. Here we go! Whoa! Check it out! It's an aerial cube! <laughs> Ooh, I bet we can climb up in this. Here we go! Whoa! Look! <laughs> oh, so relaxing in the cube. <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you know what a cube is? A cube is kind of like a square. Yeah, kind of like a square, but it's 3D. Whoa! And every side is the same size. All six sides, whoa, are the same. <laughs> Check it out. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> this is kind of tricky. Whoa. whoa, yeah, look. If you see it from this angle, it looks like a diamond. But I bet. Now, it kind of looks like a square. Whoa. A square! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Okay, <laughs> I should probably get down from here. Okay, here we go! Woo! <laughs> well, that was pretty fun, but I think I need a teacher to help me out a little bit. <laughs> it would probably make it a lot more fun, and I could probably do some cool new things. <laughs> hmm, let's go find someone to give us some tips. an aerial instructor. <laughs> Whoa, she's really good at this. <laughs> oh, maybe she can teach us. <laughs> Let's go ask. <laughs> hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Whoa. Hi, Blippi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kimberly. Oh, it's nice to meet you, nice Kimberly. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Whoa, you're really good at aerials. Thank you. Whoa. Oh, well, we were doing some climbing and some spinning <laughs> and some swinging, but do you think you could help us? Uh, can you dance? Oh, I love to dance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love to dance. Perfect. Let's do some aerial dance then. Aerial dance? Oh, you mean we can dance, but in the air? That's exactly it. <laughs> yeah, I would love to. All okay. right, grab for your hammock. Okay, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at this hammock. So big and purple. <laughs> it's like a sail. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> okay. I have the hammock. Grab for one edge. Bring your thumbs inside. Okay. Fingers, all four of them on each hand. On the outside, slide your hands outside of your hips. Okay. Reach for six handfuls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Bring those elbows in, shoulders in. Ooh, okay. Press your fingertips towards the ground. Jump up inside. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. Ooh, we made it in the hammock. Hands up high towards the sky, all the way around the outside of the back. Grab it like a rope on each side. You can walk your legs forward so you're sitting on the very edge of this little ledge. Ooh, nice. And then slide your hands down so you've got it on both sides, just like you'd wear a belt. Ooh, here we go. Good job. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna go upside down. Are you ready? We get to go upside down? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. You're gonna take your legs wide, keep your hands still, and then bring your feet together all the way around the front. Okay, here we go. Upside down, Blippi! Woohoo! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! And then take your right foot and your left foot all the way around the outside of the purple fabric Ooh. to the front. Okay. Good job. 
Whoa! You look fun. good! Yeah. <laughs> thumbs up! Thumbs up! Wait! Thumbs down! <laughs> so silly! <laughs> okay. You wanna go for a spin? Yeah! Let's do it! Time to spin! <laughs> Don't wanna get too dizzy. <laughs> oh, so what should we do next? You wanna do a handstand? Yeah! Alright. Your fingers come on the floor, directly under your shoulders. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at those toes. Flex your feet. Straighten out your legs. Now straighten out your hands. Whoa! Feet towards the sky even more. Handstand! Yeah! Check it out! Whoa, that was fun. You want to do a no-hand handstand? A no-hand handstand? Sure. All right. Straighten out the legs. Straighten out the arms. Okay. Hands off! Whoa! Check it out! No hands! How stretchy are you? Can you reach to your toes? Reach for those toes. Yeah. Bend your knees. Whew. And lift up. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, we're up so high. But I do have one question. Kimberly, how do we get down? Oh, well, that's even more fun. You're going to reach for both hands on one fabric. OK. All right, keep that left knee bent. Reach the right toes towards the floor. Come forward. Yes. And slide those hands down. Bend your right knee. Grab a hold of your right hand with your right foot. Ta-da! Ta-da! Pigeon drop. Whoa! This is awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Look at these! <laughs> Whoa! They kind of look like a hammock, but there's not a place to sit. What are these called? This is called an aerial silk. It's like a hammock upside down. Whoa! An upside down hammock? <laughs> That's fun. Well, how do we play with these? You want to try to climb it? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. You're going to grab a hold of it. OK. Yep. <laughs> and I want you to kind of hug the fabric with your legs. So your right leg comes up. OK. Turn around, give it a giant hug, and flex the foot. OK. You're going to slide the fabric underneath the toes. Oh, OK. And then you're going to reach your other foot onto the fabric and kind of hook it like you're crisscrossing. Great. So I Criss pull on the one fabric. Toe to the other. Yep. Like that. Awesome. It gets easier if you use both hammocks, or uh, both silks. Do you want to try it together? Yeah, OK. We'll try both silks, see if I can climb to the top. OK. OK. So. Bring them together, give it like a giant little bear hug, your uh, leg. <laughs> OK, now we take our leg around. That's right. Like this. Yep. Flex our foot. Bring it as high as you can. Even higher. Woo. Even higher. Woo. Good job. And then up we go. <laughs> Woo. You can go higher. OK. Whoa! Look how high I am! All the way to the top, Lippy. Good job! Whoa! I made it to the top! Whoa! Look at how high we are! Everything looks amazing from up here. Okay, I think it's time to come down. Nice and slowly. You're going to squeeze your legs together and walk your hands down. Work with your legs, not with your hands. Whoa! Here I go! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> We made it! Good job! Yeah! Nice landing. Whoa, that was amazing! Oh, you've taught us so many amazing dance moves and how to climb a silk. <laughs> Thank you so much for teaching us today, Kimberly. You're welcome. Uh, well, I'll see you soon. I think I have all these tools. Now I can do my very own aerial blippy dance. Bye-bye! Bye! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> it's time for some blippy dancing! <laughs> yeah! Kimberly was so helpful and taught us all kinds of dance moves. And now we can take those dance moves and make blippy choreography. Oh, that's kind of a big word. Choreography. <laughs> Have you heard that word before? Well, it's just a big fancy word for lots of dance moves put together. <laughs> we can do that. Time to dance. Hey, 
Hi, it's such a great day with you today, learning all about aerial arts. <laughs> and we even got to dance to our very own aerial blippy dance. Woohoo! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> great. OK, here we go. B-L-I. P-P-I! Blippi! Good job! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon! Bye bye Woo! <laughs> Woo! Come on everyone, let's make learning fun! Blippi! Blippi! So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout! Blippi! So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout! Blippi! It's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at today. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park on the big island of Hawaii. And this place is awesome because of volcanoes. Today, you and I are gonna learn about volcanoes. Yeah, maybe we'll find out what it looks like after it erupts, or maybe some lava tubes, Ooh, and maybe some steam. All right, are you ready to learn and have some fun? Me too, let's go. Wow, this place is so cool. And I even have a map, but it's kind of confusing on where I'm at. I'm trying to find all those cool things like the lava tubes and the volcano. <laughs> Aloha, Blippi. Oh. Are you lost? Do you need help finding anything? Hey, whoa, are you a park ranger? I am a park ranger here. My name's Ranger Aaron. Wow, and yeah, to answer your question, I am lost. I was actually trying to find the lava tubes. Ooh, well, you're in luck. We have Nahuku Lava Tube right down this trail. Do you want to go see it? Yeah, will you show me? Yeah, let's go together. All right. Whoa, great. <laughs> Ranger Aaron, this place is beautiful. I know. I love this hike over here. I would call this a rainforest. We do have areas of rainforest here at Kilauea Volcano. Really? How did the eruption not get rid of all these plants? Well, the thing is, during many volcanic eruptions here, the lava doesn't cover the whole forest. It sometimes it'll flow around areas and leave a little pocket of forest. We call these kipukas. Kipuka. That's right. These are really important, actually, because kipukas serve as seed banks. Seed banks? What are those? It means they're areas where all of the seeds from our native plants can be saved. And then after an eruption, the wind might blow them, birds might pick them up and drop them on the new lava, and new plants can start to grow. These plants make it possible for the rest of the forest to come back to that area. And eventually, you may not even know there was ever a lava flow there. Wow, that is really cool. But since there's a lot of poisonous gases in the air when volcanoes erupt, how do these plants survive? Well, a lot of our plants here on this island, they had to adapt to survive a volcano, such as our Ohia Lehua tree. Look at these giant trees above us. Wow, they these are big. <laughs> These trees are very important in Hawaiian culture, and they also have some superpowers to help them survive a volcanic eruption. Superpowers? I love superpowers. What do you mean? Well, the Ohia Lehua tree can actually hold its breath during a volcanic eruption for up to two weeks. Oh, that's a long time. Mm -hmm. This is really cool. Can we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go see the lava tube. Oh, cool. Let's go. <laughs> Wow, what's this? This is the Nahuku Lava Tube. Lava Tube? What does that mean? Well, that means this is a tunnel where lava used to be flowing during an eruption. But sometimes at the end of the eruption, the lava will flow out and leave this empty tunnel behind. And this one we can actually walk through. Oh, cool. That sounds really exciting. Can we walk through it right now? Yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> you lead the way. All right. <laughs> Oh, pretty dark wow. in here. Yeah, don't worry, there are some lights. All right. <laughs> Whoa, cool. 
So we have to imagine this is where the lava used to be flowing through many, many years ago. Oh, wow. This is really cool. Oh, and it's getting pretty dark in here. I know. Good thing we've got a few lights to help us see the way. Oh, yeah. Smart. Oh, cool. Do you mind if I touch the wall? Oh, please don't. This is actually a very unique ecosystem in our park. There are some insects that live here that don't live anywhere else. And if we touch the walls, we could disturb this ecosystem. Okay, if you're ever in a lava tube, don't touch the walls. Whoa! And it's really cool how there's special insects that just live in here. But hey, what's that sound? Yeah, the dripping? Is it raining in here? Actually, volcanic rock is very porous. That means there's lots of little holes and cracks in it. So when it rains, the water can filter down through the rock and eventually it can drip right on top of us. Oh, cool. Well, I guess we'll continue, but we'll try and not get wet. <laughs> right, we should have brought an umbrella. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was really cool. I know, this is one of my favorite places in our national park. Yeah, and you're so smart knowing about those insects and also how the water drops through the rock. Both are important facts to know to understand how special our volcano is. Yeah, it is very special. Hey, and speaking of volcano, do you mind if we go check it out? Yeah, do you want to go see Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater? Oh, I would love to. That sounds like fun. All right, let's go see our volcano. All right. <laughs> wow, cool, a volcano. That's right. This is a very special special place at the National Park. So whenever I bring students up here, I remind them to keep quiet voices oh. so that we can be respectful so that everybody can enjoy this part of the National Park. Wow, and why is it so sacred up here? Well, this is known as a vahipana. In Hawaiian, that means a sacred place. In Hawaiian culture, many people believe that this crater, Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater, is the home of Pele Honuamea. Pele is the fire goddess and the goddess of volcanoes. And many people believe that the Hawaiian islands would not be here without Pele. So that's why this is such a sacred and special area in the park. Wow, this is a special place and it's so peaceful. But wait a second, what is a volcano? Well, a volcano is a geologic feature where underneath the Earth's crust, magma chambers can form. Magma is molten rock. So these pockets of molten rock start building up pressure and eventually they can build up enough pressure that they actually break through the Earth's crust and lava can erupt out of the Earth's crust. Wow, cool. So does this volcano erupt a bunch of lava? It does. Actually, this volcano is erupting right now. Wait, right now? Why is it not just exploding in air? Well, the Hawaiian volcanoes don't usually have explosive eruptions. The Hawaiian volcanoes have what we call effusive eruptions. So the lava can bubble out and flow, and they also sometimes erupt out of rift zones in the side of the volcano. Oh, that makes sense. So is that the lava down there? Well, that is the lava down there. Once lava cools and turns into rock, it turns black. So we're looking at the cooled lava lake right now. Wow, and when did this eruption start? This current eruption started in September of 2021. Oh, and what did it look like before that time? Well, there was actually a really big change at our volcano before the last big eruption. Before that really big eruption, our volcano, the caldera, was more flat. And Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater was very small. It would have just been right over there. But what happened during that eruption? We had that magma chamber underneath the earth and it started to empty because it was erupting out of the side of the volcano. Okay. So eventually all of the lava, all of the magma got out of that chamber and it was just empty. And when it was hollow and empty like that, it couldn't hold the weight of the volcano. So it actually collapsed. Wow. And that's what we can see here. This crater got much, much bigger during that eruption. Wow, that's really cool. So is this the only volcano that you folks have here? Flippy, guess how many volcanoes you can see right now? Um, one? The answer is actually three. 
We have five volcanoes on our island total, and we can see three of them right here. Do you want to go see the others? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Whoa, so that's the other volcano we can see? Right, that is one of the other volcanoes we can see from right here. That's called Mauna Kea. And one interesting fact is Mauna Kea is so tall, in the wintertime, it can actually get snow. Wait, snow in Hawaii? That's right, I used to teach second grade, and my second graders could go to the top of Mauna Kea, sled down a hill with snow on it, and then go to the beach in the same day. <laughs> wow, that sounds like so much fun. I would love to live here. I love sledding and the beach. <laughs> oh, wait, so you said there's another volcano? All I see is hills. Well, actually, we are going to see Mauna Loa Volcano. And this is a really great example of why they're called shield volcanoes. You see this big hill behind us? Yeah. That is all Mauna Loa. That is all the volcano. Wow. Even though it doesn't look like this, it looks like this, a shield volcano. It's still a volcano. That's right, like a superhero shield laid on its side. <laughs> cool. Wow, do you have any other fun things to see today? Do you want to see some steam vents with steam coming out of the earth? Yeah, I'd love to. All right, let's go see those last. All right. <laughs> wow, this place is awesome. Yeah. Park Ranger Aaron, what is this? This is a steam vent. Oh, a steam vent? What's that? Well, do you remember when we walked through the lava tube, we felt all of those drops of water falling on us? Yeah. Well, something similar happens here. Remember, our, our volcanic rock is so porous. That means there's lots of holes and cracks in it. Right. So when it rains, the rainwater can seep down through the rocks. Okay. Do you remember what's underneath a volcano? Uh, the magma chamber? That's right, all of that magma, <laughs> that super hot molten rock is underneath our volcano. So eventually the water seeps down so far, it gets heated up by the magma, it evaporates and it turns into steam. Wow. The steam can escape from these cracks in the earth just like this. Wow, this has been so much fun learning about volcanoes with you today. You're so knowledgeable. Well, thank you for coming and learning about volcanoes. It's so important that we work together to protect these special places. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> well, I've got to go meet some youth junior rangers over at the visitor center. Wow, cool. All right, bye, Blippi. All right, see you later. Enjoy your visit. All right, have a good day. Wow, Mauna Loa looks so big. And remember how we learned that it looks like a superhero shield laying down flat? Yeah, not all volcanoes look like this. Wow, we learned so much today. We even got to walk through a lava tube and it was so tubular. <laughs> yeah, and those steam vents, so cool. And it was pretty warm too, that steam from all that heat. Wow, and that crater, it was so big and vast. Wow, I sure did love learning about volcanoes with you. But this is the end of this video. If you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job, all right, see you again, Bye bye Make learning fun So much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi So much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi Hey! It's me, Blippi! And today, we're here at Candyland Indoor Playground in Sherman Oaks, California! <laughs> oh, and look at this place! It's so colorful and filled with candy, yeah, like gumdrops and lollipops. Whoa, and ice cream, yeah. Woo, <laughs> this ice cream is the color white and the color green. Oh, I bet it's mint flavored. <laughs> hey, do you have a favorite flavor of ice cream? I like that flavor too. <laughs> well, we better go inside. <laughs> Ooh, but before we go inside, we need to take off our shoes. Okay? <laughs> One shoe. Ooh. 
and tissue. Whoa, <laughs> two shoes. Here we go. <laughs> Come on. Check it out. <laughs> I'm a crab. Woo! <laughs> Woo, look at me go. <laughs> Slow motion. Whoa. like we're in the ocean. Huh. We better swim. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what are these? Whoa. Look at how colorful it is. <laughs> Look at this. You have the color green, the color pink, and woo, the color blue. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> Whoa. It's so bouncy. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> I wonder what's over here. Jump along with me? <laughs> okay, let's jump together. See how high you can jump up in the sky. <laughs> Jumping is so fun and it's really good exercise. Did you know there are many animals that like to jump too? <laughs> Will you jump like a kangaroo with me? Okay, jump like a kangaroo. <laughs> What other kinds of animals like to jump? Hmm, can you think of any animals that can jump? Hmm, oh, I know, frogs! Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> okay, let's be frogs together. Whoa, this is pretty fun, but let's keep exploring. <laughs> Look at me go, <laughs> whoa! Check it out! I'm riding a blue baby chick. It's made out of marshmallow. Whoa! Ooh, thanks for the ride. <laughs> Look at where we are. Whoa, we're here at the supermarket. Hmm, I bet there's some tasty food inside. <laughs> Come on, let's go check it out. Whoa, look at this place. <laughs> there are so many cool things to buy and eat here. Yum! <laughs> But first, we need a shopping cart. Okay, <laughs> this will work. Here we go. Ooh, look, some yummy food. Well, we should definitely get some bread. And, whoa, look, this bun has sesame seeds on it. <laughs> Yum! <gasps> definitely want this. And maybe some more bread and a hot dog bun. Yummy! <laughs> oh, and look at this. There are all kinds of canned food, hands like pineapple slices. <laughs> Ooh. Alphabet soup. Whoa, <laughs> it's soup, but with the letters of the alphabet in it. <laughs> oh, and some more cans, corn, and oh, check it out. Tomato sauce. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what we could put tomato sauce on. 
We'll probably need it though. <laughs> oh, and you don't want to forget fresh vegetables. Yeah, look, we have lettuce and we have spinach. Whoa, <laughs> yum. <laughs> and whoa, check it out. Cucumber slices. Hello, hello. <laughs> Woo. We'll save these for later. <laughs> oh, and look, speaking of tomato sauce, we can put it on pizza. Yeah, that's what we can put that tomato sauce on. Look, this pizza has all kinds of toppings. Mm. Ooh, we should put all the toppings on the pizza. <laughs> oh, and look, these toppings olives, onions, and green peppers. Yummy! <laughs> there we go. Put all the toppings on the pizza. Oh, oh, this pizza's gonna be so tasty. <laughs> Mushrooms, yum! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> hey, do you have a favorite topping you like on your pizza? Woo, <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> but before we eat this pizza, we need to buy all the food we picked out. We can take it to the register. Okay, <laughs> I'll save this for later. <laughs> okay, follow me. Looks like we got a lot of groceries. Okay, <laughs> let's put it on the conveyor belt. When you want to buy food at the supermarket, go to the register. Then there'll be a really nice cashier there to help you. <laughs> Whoa, and it looks like we have a really helpful cashier here. <laughs> hi, oh hi there, I'm Cashier Blippi. I'd be happy to help you. Oh, it's very nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. Whoa, it looks like there's a lot of food here. No problem for me. <laughs> awesome, see what I said? Yeah. When you go to the register at a supermarket, there's always a helpful cashier nearby. <laughs> okay, let me bring you up. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Oh, here you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Ooh, let's see what the total comes out to. But before we eat all the food we got, let's keep exploring. I bet there's some more fun things to see. <laughs> Come on. Ice cream, ice cream, <laughs> ice cream for sale. <laughs> Whoa, would you like some ice cream? Yeah, I'm selling ice cream at my ice cream stand. <laughs> Whoa, we have a lot of flavors. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many amazing flavors, but before we start eating ice cream <laughs> and sharing ice cream, I think we need to make some ice cream. <laughs> Whoa, look, there are some ingredients and supplies. Ooh, we have a bowl and a spoon. Wait a minute, <laughs> this bowl looks like an ice cream cone and this spoon does too. Hmm, wonder if it tastes like one. Nope, it tastes like a spoon, <laughs> but that's okay, look have some ingredients. Yeah, we have some eggs. Woo, woo! <laughs> yeah, some eggs and some milk. Mmm, <laughs> yeah, woo, and some sugar. Woo, yeah, some sugar. <laughs> well, looks like we have all the ingredients to make some tasty ice cream. Okay, so first, let's crack some eggs and then put in some milk. And don't want to forget that sweet sugar. <laughs> Woo. Then you mix it all up. We almost lost an egg. Woo. <laughs> Woo. That was a lot of mixing. Yeah, churning and mixing. It's hard work making ice cream. <laughs> but now we can take this and put it in the freezer. Woo. Then all you have to do is wait Mix it some more, wait, 
Mix it some more so it gets nice and cold. <laughs> well, now that we mixed it, we just need to wait. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> I think it's time. Whoa, our ice cream. Ooh. <laughs> Look, we have made some ice cream and a cone. <laughs> See, we have an ice cream cone and a scoop of tasty ice cream. Mmm. Mmm, vanilla. <laughs> so tasty. Oh, hey, I have an idea. Let's make the biggest ice cream cone we can. Whoa. Whoa. Look at our cone. <laughs> it's so wobbly. Yeah, because we have four scoops of ice cream. One, two, three, four. Vanilla, salted caramel, chocolate chip, and strawberry. Whoa! <gasps> it's delicious! <laughs> hey, well look, we have a lot of ice cream here, but we also have different kinds of ice cream. Oh, we'll put this for later. <laughs> oh, there you go. Whoa! <gasps> oh, 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 an ice cream cookie sandwich! Yum! <laughs> Two cookies and some ice cream makes a tasty treat. Huh. Whoa, do you know what this is? Hmm, yeah, it's not ice cream, it's a popsicle. <laughs> Whoa, a tasty purple popsicle. <laughs> yeah, popsicles are great for a sunny day. Oh, and look, <laughs> one for me and one for you. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> well, I'll save this for later. Ooh. Hey, it's orange. <laughs> One of my two favorite colors. <laughs> well, I'm having a lot of fun eating all this ice cream, but I think I have room for one more scoop. <laughs> One really big scoop. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Looks like someone needs help. Good thing we're here at the fire station. Come on inside. <laughs> Look at this place. Fire stations are awesome because it's where the firefighters get ready to put out the fires and save the day. <laughs> and I love fire stations because this is where they park the fire trucks. <laughs> yeah. a little fire truck with a ladder <laughs> and a hose to put out the fire. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> and look, it even has some lights and sirens to let everyone know oh, someone needs help from a fire. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. Whoa! Looks like you and I can get dressed up like a firefighter. <laughs> See, there's a hat. And hmm, this looks like a firefighter jacket. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. One arm and two arms. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> yeah. Firefighter Flippy is on the job. Oh, look at this. <laughs> yeah, it's a walkie-talkie. Hmm, maybe we can find out if someone needs help. <sharp inhale> Firefighter Blippi on the job. Anyone need help from a fire? Whoa, there is someone out there. Come on, we need to go help them. <laughs> Whoa, and good thing we have a fire truck. <laughs> yeah, check it out. It's so shiny. <laughs> okay, come on, let's get inside. We can save the day. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Today was awesome! 
I had such a great time with you here at Candyland Indoor Playground. <laughs> I had a lot of fun playing pretend, climbing, jumping, swinging. <laughs> Whoa! It was just so much fun. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> Whoa! 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 <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi, blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Blippi! So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout, Blippi! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi! And today, we're here at the Kennedy Space Center! <laughs> yeah! And I am so excited because we get to learn all about astronauts, planets, and maybe <laughs> we can go into outer space. Whoa! <laughs> Today is going to be out of this world. <laughs> and what better place to be than the Kennedy Space Center? <laughs> yeah! This is where scientists study planets, outer space, asteroids, <laughs> and they even build rockets that blast off. <laughs> well, I am so excited that you and I get to learn about space and learn about what it takes to become an astronaut. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome! Come on! <laughs> We're here at the rocket garden. <laughs> These are real rockets. <laughs> They're so big. <laughs> Let's go take a closer look. Come on. Whoa, check it out. It's the Delta II rocket. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big. Whoa, do you see it? Yeah, the Delta II rocket is 128 feet tall. Whoa, <laughs> that's a really big rocket. Do you notice anything about it? Hmm. Yeah, do you see all the way at the top? It's a shark. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Hello, Sharky. <laughs> Whoa, the Delta II rocket is an amazing rocket. It was used for missions to Mars. <laughs> yeah. Rovers that would go on Mars. Yeah, a rover is a little vehicle that would drive around on Mars and help scientists learn about the planet. <laughs> and the Delta II would help those rovers get to Mars. <laughs> Whoa! To get all the way to Mars, it means you need a really powerful engine. I think I see the engine now. <laughs> Let's go take a closer look. Come on. of the Delta II. Do you see it? Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> it's so big, <laughs> yeah. This cone in the center is the engine. And one, two, three cones on the sides. Yeah, those are the boosters. <laughs> it would help give the rocket an extra boost to Mars. <laughs> Whoa, and these engines are so powerful. Yeah, they're really powerful. We call that power that helps a rocket take off thrust. Thrust! <laughs> and the Delta II has over one million pounds of thrust. Whoa! <laughs> that is one amazing rocket. It's the Atlas Agena rocket. Whoa, <laughs> it's so big. And it's the color silver. <laughs> it's so shiny. <laughs> well, the Atlas Agena rocket had a very important job. It was a photographer. <laughs> yeah, 
this rocket's job was to take pictures of the moon. <laughs> and did you know, this rocket also really loved teamwork. Yeah, lots of teamwork. That's because it had two parts, the Atlas and the Agena. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. In order for it to take pictures of the moon, the Atlas, the big part, <laughs> was a powerful engine that would shoot into space. <laughs> and then the Agena, or the teeny tiny part on top, would take over. Yeah, it would shoot a rover on the moon. <laughs> and then the rover, which kind of looks like a little car, would drive all over the moon taking moon pictures. Moon pictures? <laughs> yeah, 11,000 moon pictures, just like this. Or like this one. Or even like this. <laughs> Whoa, those are some pretty good pictures. <laughs> This rocket is amazing! <laughs>
<laughs> no wonder it was so warm. The sun is so big. It's so hot and it's so orange. <laughs> hey, will you pretend to be a sun with me? <laughs> okay, it's pretty easy. First, make yourself really big. <laughs> yeah, and then we need to make the shape of the sun. Ooh, it's a big sphere, so we can make a big circle. <laughs> like this. And then, did you know the sun has solar flares? <laughs> yeah, that means there are explosive rays of fire and light. What? <laughs> well, we can do solar flares with our arms by wiggling. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that was pretty fun being in the sun. <laughs> yeah, did you know the sun is the center of our solar system? <laughs> yeah, a solar system is where planets all live together. And the sun is at the center of ours. Yeah, all the other planets like Earth circle around the sun. Woo! Woo! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, and when planets circle around the sun, we call that orbiting. Whoa! <laughs> I'm getting dizzy from all this orbiting. <laughs> oh, come on! Whoa, look at this. Whoa, <laughs> do you see what I see? Yeah, these are satellites. Planets orbit and satellites orbit. Time to do the satellite dance. Whoa, <laughs> keep spinning. Whoa! <laughs> I'm pretty dizzy from dancing like a satellite. Yeah, orbiting around and around and around in a circle. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder where this goes. Come on, let's find out. <laughs> Here we go. Hello! Whoa, we climbed all the way up here. <laughs> here we go. Whoa! Whoa! That was awesome! <laughs> I had so much fun here with you at Planet Play. <laughs> Whoa! Look at where we are! We're standing in front of the Saturn V rocket! Whoa! <laughs> it's so big! <laughs> wow, did you see it? Yeah! At the bottom of the Saturn V rocket, there are five engines. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five! <laughs> Whoa! The Saturn V rocket was enormous and really, really powerful. <laughs> yeah! They use this rocket on the Apollo missions. Whoa, that's a fun word to say. Have you heard of the Apollo missions? <laughs> yeah, the Apollo missions were to help get a person to stand on the moon. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, there were 17 Apollo missions. And on Apollo 11, the 11th mission, they made it to the moon, <laughs> yeah. And Neil Armstrong, in 1969, <laughs> took a step on the moon. Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that sounds so amazing. Imagine going into space, being an astronaut, and even standing on the moon. Whoa! <laughs> that is so awesome. And rockets like the Saturn V are so awesome. <laughs> well, luckily, where we are, there are all the different parts. Let's keep exploring. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, you see this? Yeah, this is another part of the Saturn V rocket. This is the command module. Yeah, right here at the front of the command module is where the astronauts would sit. <laughs> yeah, they would sit in the front and this is where they would stay when they were blasting off into space. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's so shiny. Yeah, it's really shiny and the color silver. 
that's because it needed to reflect all of the sun's really hot rays. It insulated, well, basically protected the astronauts so they would be nice and safe when they were in space. Whoa, <laughs> it would be so cool to ride in the command module. Whoa, and do you see this? <laughs> Come here. Whoa, look at this. Hmm, I wonder what this is. It kind of looks funny. Hmm, maybe it's four trumpets. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> those aren't trumpets. Oh, those are boosters. Yeah, look. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, and that would help guide and steer the command module. If they needed to go up, one of these would blast off. If they needed to go left, another would blast off. <laughs> so they could drive it around. <laughs> Whoa, the command module was amazing. <laughs> yeah, and look, it has a really big engine. <laughs> it's so big. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, the Saturn V's main rocket had five engines, but the command module only had one engine, but one really big engine. <laughs> yeah, the command module is how the astronauts would get back home. <laughs> Whoa, it would blast off of the main rocket, and then the very front of it would separate, <laughs> just where the astronauts were sitting. Then it would float back down to Earth once it got to the atmosphere. <laughs> it would crash land in the ocean, but because it had a parachute, everyone would be nice and safe. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out, come on. <laughs> Check it out! Do you see what's up here? <laughs> Look, it's a circle and a shield. Whoa, looks like a lot of circles. <laughs> yeah, these are the astronauts' patches. <laughs> Every astronaut that was a part of a crew of an Apollo mission or any space mission would get to design a very special patch. <laughs> and then it would go on their spacesuit. <laughs> Whoa, and they're so cool. Look at this one. This one, it has the command module on it. And look at that one, <laughs> Apollo 11. It has an eagle. Kaka, kaka, kaka. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Look at it. This is amazing. Did you know that the Saturn V? Yeah, it had lots of different parts, and when it would separate. The next part would take the crew and the astronauts further into space and closer to the moon. <laughs> Whoa! It's so amazing learning all about space and rockets. <laughs> Whoa, and I think I see something at the end. <laughs> yeah, at the very top of the rocket, there were three things. The service module, the command module, <laughs> we just saw that. And the most amazing, the most incredible lunar module. <laughs> yeah, the lunar module is what astronauts would use to get to the moon. And I think I see it right behind me. <laughs> Come on, let's take a closer look. <laughs> wearing spacesuits in front of the lunar module. Oh, <laughs> whoa, those spacesuits sure look amazing. And they also look really heavy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If you were an astronaut, you had to be really strong <laughs> and really smart. Yeah, sometimes astronauts would be scientists, 
or maybe even engineers? And you see what they're doing? <laughs> it looks like they're cleaning up. Yeah, cleaning up space rocks. <laughs> yeah, they're collecting space rock samples from the moon so they can study them and learn lots. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Mr. Spaceman. Hello. <laughs> well, they're pretty busy at work. Whoa. And do you see, too? It looks like there are lots of footprints on the moon. Oh. Well, the moon, it's not like Earth. When you make a footprint in the sand, it stays there. <laughs> yeah. There's no wind or breeze like at the beach. No. When you make a footprint, it stays there for a really long time. <laughs> and it looks like these two astronauts made lots of footprints. Whoa, <laughs> a lot of them. Whoa, and do you see the lunar module itself? It's amazing. <laughs> hmm, something looks familiar. Yeah, it's all the boosters. You see? <laughs> the boosters on the lunar module, kind of like the command module, were used to steer it around. <laughs> yeah, and the lunar module also had a really big engine. Yeah, mm, it's kind of hard to see, but it's right there in the middle of the lunar module. This would help it descend, <laughs> which means go down, so it could land on the moon, and that engine helped it ascend, which means it made it go up, <laughs> off the moon. <laughs> Whoa! And the lunar module was amazing. It had so many other parts. Yeah, do you see down here? The orange reflective material? <laughs> well, behind the orange is where they kept materials and supplies that they might need or for any experiments. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. Oh, and look right there. Do you see it? <laughs> That's the door that the astronauts would come out of. Yeah. It would climb through the door and down the ladder to the moon. <laughs> well, this is pretty amazing learning all about the Apollo missions, the Saturn V astronauts. <laughs> I sure wish that one day we can meet a real life astronaut. Hmm, maybe we can ask him questions. Maybe that astronaut had an amazing experiment or maybe they needed to repair something. Oh, I don't know, <laughs> but it sure would be amazing to one day be an astronaut and to blast off into space. These are amazing. <laughs> yeah. When an astronaut goes into space, they can't wear their normal clothes. <laughs> they can't wear their orange and blue suspenders and shirt. <laughs> no, they need a spacesuit because there's no air in space. <laughs> it helps them breathe and it keeps them protected. Whoa, <laughs> look at this one. This one looks like it's made out of fabric. Yeah, the color's white and gray. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this spacesuit. <laughs> this one looks really cool. It's made out of metal. It looks like a knight with a suit of armor. <laughs> well, this one looks really cool, but might be kind of hard to walk in that spacesuit. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, <laughs> look at this one. It looks like an accordion. Whoa, <laughs> have you seen someone play an accordion before? Yeah, kind of sounds like this. <laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, it looks like this one would be a lot easier to walk in. Huh, whoa, 
Come to think of it, there are a lot of spacesuits. <laughs> yeah, that's because the people, engineers, and scientists making spacesuits, sometimes they would make a suit and go, I think I can make this better. So they would practice and make lots of suits. <laughs> that's kind of like if you play a sport or a game and you try the first time, it might be kind of hard. But if you practice, you'll get a lot better. <laughs> Whoa, and look at it. Whoa, it's an actual spacesuit from an Apollo mission. Oh, 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 this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it looks very easy to move around in and walk so they can walk on the moon. <laughs> Definitely sounds like these engineers and scientists got a lot better by practicing. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it would be so cool to get in one of these suits. You see? Yeah, you would strap in here and you have a little bubble helmet <laughs> to keep the air in so you can breathe and different tubes and nozzles so you can move around and also get lots of oxygen to breathe. <laughs> wow, this is pretty amazing. <laughs> It's an astronaut! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> that means we must be here at the Astronaut Hall of Fame! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Did you know that some people go to space for their job? What? <laughs> that sounds like a really fun job to me! Yeah, people who go to space are called astronauts! <laughs> Wow, and check it out. <laughs> there are so many astronauts in this room. Yeah, they've done really amazing space missions. <laughs> so they're here in the Astronaut Hall of Fame. <laughs> well, I really wish I could meet an astronaut in real life. That would be awesome. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there's a person back there. Maybe they can introduce us to one. Come on. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Oh, hi, I'm Bruce Melnick. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Bruce Melnick. Well, we've had a lot of fun learning about rockets and astronauts. Do you think you could introduce us to an astronaut? That's gonna be real easy. I'm an astronaut. No way! Did you hear that? Bruce Melnick is an astronaut! Oh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, that's amazing. And are these astronauts too? Yes, they are. These are all the Hall of Fame astronauts. Matter of fact, that one right there was the pilot on my first flight. Wow, that is so amazing. <laughs> I can't believe I am standing next to a real life astronaut. <laughs> well, Bruce, was it amazing going up into space? Oh, it's the greatest ride in the world. <laughs> You're wow. laying there in your back and when the boosters light off, it's just a rough, loud, wild ride. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. Do you, does it go really fast when you take off? Well, when you first take off, it's fairly slow, but you're already going 100 miles an hour when you clear the top of the launch pad. Whoa, 100 miles an hour? Whoa! <laughs> and then eight and a half minutes later, you're going over 17,500 miles an hour. Whoa! I can't imagine going over 17,000 miles in a space shuttle. <laughs> That's so fast. <laughs> it's so fast that it only takes you an hour and a half to go around the Earth. Whoa, did you hear that? Whoa, one hour and a half? And every 45 minutes, you're seeing a sunrise or a sunset. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. It takes me a whole day to see a sunset. <laughs> but if you're in space going really fast, you see one every 45 minutes. Hmm, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> it's really cool. And when, of course, you're on the dark side, you see 10 times more stars than you do when you're on the surface of the Earth because there's no clouds in between you and space. Wow, that's amazing. I love looking at the stars. <laughs> so going to space, you can see even more stars. Wow, <laughs> this is so amazing. It sounds like I want to be an astronaut, and it sounds like you do too, and we can go to space. Uh, but first, Bruce, what is the first thing we need to know about being an astronaut? The very first thing is, is do the best you can in school. Okay, <laughs> we can do that. 
The second thing is to be a very good person. Oh, well that's easy. <laughs> we'll just be a good person. <laughs> and what's very important is to be very adventurous. Whoa, adventurous? I love adventure. <laughs> yeah, if you want to be an astronaut when you grow up, you need to do well in school, be a good person, and be really adventurous. <laughs> well, I think we will definitely go to space someday soon. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Bruce, for teaching us all about space and being an astronaut. <laughs> well, it was my pleasure, and you have a lot more to learn here at the Kennedy Space Center. <laughs> okay, well, let's keep exploring. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. We got to meet and talk to a real-life astronaut. <laughs> that was amazing. Well, I think there's a little more exploring for you and me to do. Come on. <laughs> Here at the Kennedy Space Center, we learned all about planets, space, rockets, and astronauts. You and I, we even got to meet Bruce, a real life astronaut. <laughs> hmm. But it looks like I'm back in my spacesuit. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> I know, because we get to go to space. <laughs> Will you blast off into space with me? Okay, here we go. Come on! <laughs> yeah! I am so excited to blast off into space! <laughs> Whoa! And check it out! It's the Flippy Mobile! Oh, we can use the Flippy Mobile to go to space! <laughs> Let's climb inside! Check it out! <laughs> I can't believe we get to blast off! But before we make it to space, we need to go through the atmosphere. Hmm. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. <laughs> okay, let's count down to liftoff. Five, four, three, two, one! Whoa! to choose from. <laughs> you can even be an astronaut and go to space. <laughs> it's out of this world. I wish I could fly to outer space. In my shuttle I will race and shoot and zoom and whiz to Mars until I reach all the beautiful stars. Cause out here in space all the stars are in reach I'll orbit around like a satellite Cause out here in space the whole world looks so bright My rocket and touch the sky Across the galaxy I will fly Being an astronaut is such a blast Exploring the universe flying so fast Shoot and zoom and whiz 
gravity from Earth. Yeah, on the moon, it's very floaty and bouncy. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, it's really fun being on the moon. Ooh, and I brought the perfect thing. A flag! <laughs> one small step for Blippi, one giant leap for Blippi kind! <laughs> wow! <Ooh. laughs> well, the moon is pretty amazing! Yeah, pretty cool here! Oh. Did you know that the moon goes around the Earth? <laughs> yeah, and the Earth, the Earth revolves around the sun! Whoa! <laughs> and all the planets that go around the sun are part of our solar system. Yeah, and there are eight planets in the solar system. <laughs> you know the planets in our solar system? Yeah, they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune! <laughs> yeah! Eight planets. They are very different from Earth. <laughs> hey, why don't we explore all the planets, learn how they're all unique and different. <laughs> Whoa! But, hmm, I think I have just the thing to help us get to all the planets. <laughs> Whoa, check it out! Oh, the Blippi Space Pack! <laughs> yeah, and it has a rocket booster. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to go and explore all the planets. Blippi Space Pack Rocket Booster, go! Whoa, look at me go! Whoa! Whoa, check it out! It's Earth! Hello! <laughs> yeah! That's where we live. <laughs> Earth is a pretty amazing planet. Yeah, it has everything we need. Air, water, food, <laughs> and our family and friends. <laughs> well, we'll see you soon, Earth. Yeah, we're gonna keep exploring some more planets. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! We're on another planet. Hmm, this planet is really small, and it's the closest to the sun. It's called Mercury. <laughs> and Mercury is really sunny and really hot. Yeah, because it's so close to the sun, we definitely want to wear sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get a sunburn on Mercury. <laughs> Ooh, good thing I have some right here in my space pack. <laughs> Perfect! Yeah, not gonna get a sunburn now! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Woo! Whoa, look! <laughs> a volleyball! Yeah, this volleyball is so lightweight! Yeah, gravity is different here! So... Whoa! <laughs> yeah, look at that! Whoa! When I let go of the volleyball, it floats away! <laughs> Whoa! Here we go! 
Bye bye <laughs> Hey, that gives me an idea. If the volleyball weighs less on Mercury, maybe I weigh less too. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, it's so bouncy here. But after all that bouncing, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Ooh, well, good thing I can take a rest right over here. Oh, look, it's a beach chair. Ooh. Mm, a tasty drink. Mmm, <laughs> tastes like pineapple. Whoa. <laughs> that is one tasty drink. Oh, well, I already put on my sunscreen. Just need... Whoa, check it out! <laughs> Some flippy shades! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, it's so relaxing here. Oh, but it is pretty hot, so <laughs> it's good to have a cold drink. I could get used to mercury. We made it to the next planet! Whoa, and this planet is really, really hot! <laughs> yeah, this planet is Venus! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's the second planet from the sun. And it's not as close to the sun as Mercury, but it's way hotter! <gasps> Whoa! Yeah, this planet, <gasps> it's really hot! <laughs> I think that's because this planet is covered with lava. <laughs> yeah, have you ever played the game, The Floor is Lava? It's a really fun game, but it's just pretend. This planet, the floor is lava. <laughs> I don't want to step in the lava. Lava is really, really hot. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> yeah, the lava here makes rivers. Well, like a river of water, but it's a river of lava. <laughs> Whoa! <Woo. laughs> Don't want to go swimming there. <laughs> yeah, there are volcanoes all over Venus, and the lava shoots out of the volcano. <laughs> yeah, and when it goes down the side of the volcano, it turns into different kinds of rivers. Underneath a volcano, there's something called magma. Yeah, it's really hot and it's kind of a liquidy thing. <laughs> yeah, and then when it explodes out of the volcano, it's called an eruption. Woo, a volcanic eruption. <laughs> yeah, and then it goes down the side of the volcano and it's lava. Yeah, you don't want to touch that. <laughs> Check it out! Yeah, the gravity is also different on this planet, too. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> that was pretty fun. Ooh. Aww, <laughs> this baby volcano is so cute. Hello. Ooh. Well, I don't think this volcano is going to erupt anytime soon. Yeah, this volcano it's probably dormant. Yeah, that means a volcano will not erupt. <laughs> yeah, it's just being here nice and cute. Yep, you're really cute. <laughs> well, good thing it's not going to erupt, because if a volcano erupts, you don't want to be anywhere near it. Yeah, it can be dangerous. Whoa, look, there's steam. Uh-oh, maybe this volcano will erupt. <laughs> Need to stay a little bit away from it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look at it go! Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> it's erupting! <laughs> Whoa! It's getting really hot in here. I think it's 
time to move on to the next planet. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Looks like we're on another planet. Hmm, good thing this planet doesn't have any lava, but it also doesn't have water or forests like Earth. Hmm, oh yeah, this is a pretty rocky planet. It's very red. Hmm, there are a lot of craters. Hmm, <laughs> I know what planet we're on. We're here on Mars. Whoa, <laughs> oh, and look at this. Whoa! Hey, look, it's red sand. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh! Yeah, this red sand is just like the red sand on Mars. Ooh. Check it out! Oh, do you know what this is? This is a Mars rover. Whoa, these are really awesome! <laughs> yeah, scientists use Mars rovers to collect information so they can study a planet. Look, it has six wheels. One, two, three, ooh, four, five, six. Yeah, six wheels. <laughs> That's really important because Mars has lots of bumps and hills and craters. <laughs> yeah, also as a satellite. Yeah, so that it can communicate with Earth. Yeah, <laughs> if it collects information or maybe rock samples, or maybe even takes a picture, it needs to be sent back to Earth. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, you see what's on the back of the rover? Ooh, yeah, blue and black panels. <laughs> Those are solar panels. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, this Mars rover doesn't take batteries. <laughs> no, it's solar powered. That means it gets its power from the sun. <laughs> Ooh, I have an idea. Oh, take some of this sand. Take the sand and our Mars rover. We'll make some samples for it to collect. Yeah, and some rocks that it doesn't want to hit. <laughs> Ooh, one rock. Two rocks. Three rocks. Four rocks, whoa! And oh, maybe Mars was hit by a really big asteroid. <laughs> yeah, an asteroid is kind of like a rock, but it's huge <laughs> and it's flying through space. <laughs> whoa, maybe we can make another one. Whoa, this one's even bigger. <laughs> Look at it go, whoa! <laughs> yeah, and on Mars, the Mars rover ride around. <laughs> it would find rock samples and then pick them up <laughs> so that scientists can study them and learn what that planet might be like. <laughs> kind of like what we're doing. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Little rover. <laughs> Aw, he's so cute. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Aw, you're welcome. Whoa, Mars is a pretty amazing planet. Hmm, and I've been noticing something. Yeah, a lot of these planets are different from Earth in one way. Yeah, they have different gravity. Whoa, on Mars. <laughs> Whoa. It's also bouncy! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Hey, I have an idea. You bounce with me like it's Mars? Okay, let's pretend by using our imagination that we're on Mars, bouncing around. Here we go. Whoa! 
Mars is a pretty cool planet, but there are so many others to learn about. Hmm, let's go find another one. Okay, get ready for the next planet. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> We made it to the next planet! Whoa! This planet is really big! Whoa! It's so big! <laughs> yeah, this planet is Jupiter! Whoa! Hey, will you pretend to be Jupiter with me? Okay, first, move your arms out like this, and then be really big! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, Jupiter is really big, but you know that Jupiter is not made of metal, or ice, or earth. No, it's made of gases. Yeah, hydrogen and helium. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, it's called a gas giant. <laughs> yeah, because it's so big and it's made of gas. Hmm. And because Jupiter is really big, it has a moon, but not just one moon, it has 67 moons! Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot of moons. Yeah! Whoa! 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 Whoa. That certainly is a lot of moons. <laughs> Hey, look, it's a little Jupiter. Hi, little Jupiter. Oh, hi, Blippi. Oh, hi. <laughs> How are you today? Oh, I'm fine, but I'm missing my red spot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> little Jupiter is missing his red spot. That's because Jupiter has a big red spot on it. Hmm, maybe we can find it somewhere. Oh, here it is. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Flippy. <laughs> yeah. See? The red spot right on Jupiter. See you later, little Jupiter. Bye-bye, Flippy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah. On big Jupiter, there's a red spot too. It's huge. <laughs> yeah. It's so big because it's a really big storm. All those winds and gases. Whoa. <laughs> makes a really big red spot. It's kind of like a giant hurricane. <laughs> well, this is a pretty amazing planet, but I think it's time to move on to the next one. Okay, let's helicopter to the next one. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> we made it to the next planet. Whoa. This planet is also really, really big. <laughs> it's called Saturn. Yeah, but Saturn is not as big as Jupiter. It's the second biggest planet. <laughs> and it has 82 moons. Whoa, that is a lot of moons. <laughs> yeah, Saturn is also really, really bright. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, if you were to look up at the night sky on Earth, you wouldn't need a telescope to see Saturn. It's so bright, you can see it. It might look kind of like a star. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Let's play a game. Yeah, but this game, we're going to need to use our imagination. <laughs> let's play sink or float. But let's play sink or float with the planet Saturn. Hmm. What do you think? Will Saturn sink or will it float? Whoa, no way! Check it out! Saturn floats! <laughs> yeah, Saturn does not weigh a lot at all. It's not very dense. So, if you took Saturn, yeah, the planet, <laughs> and you took a bathtub, just a bathtub, <laughs> and you put Saturn in the bathtub, it would float! But it would certainly need to be a big bathtub. <laughs> and Saturn has a ring! Yeah, 
Whoa! Kind of like this hula hoop. <laughs> yeah, it has a ring of ice and rock and asteroids that goes all the way around the planet. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 <laughs> Whoa! Looks like we have some hula hoops here. Maybe we can make a really big four ring asteroid field around me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Asteroid field away! Whoa! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Think I need a little more practice. Whoa, it is really chilly here. <laughs> yeah, it's really cold. It's so cold, I'm freezing. <laughs> That's because we're on the seventh planet from the sun, Uranus. <laughs> it's so far away from the nice warmth of the sun that gets really cold here. <laughs> yeah, don't think I would want to live on Uranus, but it's nice to visit. <laughs> Hey, can you think of someone that might want to live on Uranus? Hmm, they probably love the cold. <laughs> yeah, a penguin would like to live here. Hmm, will you be a penguin with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> waddle, waddle, waddle. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, I like pink penguins. They're so fun. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, yeah, it's really cold here, but did you know that Uranus has seasons? Yeah, but it's a little different from seasons on Earth. Uranus has summer, winter, spring, fall, but instead of lasting only a few months, each season lasts 20 years! Oh, that's a really long time. <laughs> But the seasons aren't that different. It's always still pretty cold. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, so cold that there's snow cones. Ooh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, and look, there's snow cone syrup. Whoa, look, it's the color blue. <laughs> Whoa, not only is blue one of my favorite colors, but Blue is the same color as Uranus. Yeah, because it's so cold, it's blue. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Blueberry. <laughs> this is one tasty snow cone. I almost forgot to say, there's something really unique about Uranus. Yeah, instead of rotating or spinning like a normal planet, it's on its side. <laughs> Maybe because it bumped into another planet. <laughs> Wait a minute. Whoa. My other snow cone. Whoa. Hey, <laughs> we're here on the eighth planet from the sun. It is really chilly here. Ooh, I feel like an ice cube. <laughs> yeah, also kind of dark. Ooh, that's because Neptune, the planet we're on, is really, really cold. It's made of ice. I think I need to put on some warmer clothes before my teeth freeze. <laughs> Ooh, looks like there's some clothes over here. Let's go put them on. A ski jacket, one hat, two hats, three hats, a scarf, another scarf, and some gloves. <laughs> on a really cold, icy planet, hmm, but I'm nice and cozy and warm. <laughs> yeah, Neptune is really cold, but did you know that Neptune, it's not the coldest planet, 
that's Uranus. But it is the furthest from the sun. Hmm, <laughs> that's kind of like Mercury. Yeah, Mercury's the closest to the sun, but it's not the hottest. That's Venus. Oh, that is interesting. <laughs> hey, and did you know that Neptune is also the color blue? <laughs> yeah, it's the color blue and has some gas on it too. <laughs> well, it's pretty dark and it's pretty cold here. I think it's time we make it back to the moon. I think I need to go back to the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hello, it's me, Blippi. <laughs> Can you name all the planets? Mercury is the littlest planet. It goes around the sun in just 88 days. Venus is so bright and beautiful. Earth is the next one, our home sweet home. With breathable air and water too. Mars is red and we want to explore it all. Today. We did so many amazing things. We got to meet a real life astronaut, saw rockets, <laughs> we learned about all the planets, and we got to explore space. <laughs> hey, where should we explore next? Oh, <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> Okay, here we go. B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Come on everyone, let's make learning fun Blippi, Blippi So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi! Look at this giant box! <laughs> yeah, today, Mika and I have some exciting things planned But, who was supposed to meet me here by now? Hmm... Huh! I wonder where Mika went. Hmm. <laughs> Did you hear something? It sounded like a doorbell. <laughs> oh, look, there's a doorbell. Hmm, let's try to press it. 
I wonder who's home. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. And this is my best friend, Blippi. <laughs> and we have work to do. We do? Uh-huh. Have you told them what we're doing today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Silly me. I kind of forgot. Yeah, we're using everything in these boxes uh -huh. to build an epic, awesome Ooh, fort. Yes. Woo! Forts are so cool. <laughs> I think a great fort needs three things. A cool way to get in, an awesome way to get out. Yeah, and something unique to make it special. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, we have to use our creative thinking. How's this floor plan, Blippi? You can go through my purple box and get some building ideas. Ooh, oh, and Mika, you can go through my orange box and get some fun creative ideas too. <laughs> Three, two, one! <laughs> PVC pipe? Oh, Ooh, that'll be a fun plastic pipe where we can maybe da, hang da, da, da. something <laughs> or use it as a trumpet. And, whoa, we can use a this cape. as oh, a superhero cape. <laughs> yeah, super <laughs> blippy. Maybe just the roof. <laughs> well, I think we better get started building this fort. Let's do it! <laughs> working on the door right here, but there's nothing to attach the door to. Whoa! <laughs> so we can build a very fun door frame by stacking up these blocks. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! One door frame post. <laughs> now we just need the other side. And we have finished the other side. We'll just put it right there. Whoop. <laughs> and attach the door. You see? I put some string and some cardboard here with tape so it can swing open on a hinge. <laughs> Check it out, we did it! Woohoo! Look at the door! The front door to our fort! Hey, Mika, I finished the door. <gasps> hey, Blippi, it looks great. Ha, huh, thanks. Oh, and Mika, did you know that the world's largest doors are at the Kennedy Space Center? Yeah, they're 456 feet tall or 138 meters. <laughs> Whoa, that's taller than the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> well, I'll see you inside. Okay, I have a surprise for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Mika, a ball pit? Yes, I made a ball pit for us to splash around in in our fort. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds like fun. <laughs> I made it out of some plastic pipes, oh. and I put a sheet over it just like this. Whoa, it's looking really great, Mika. You did a good job. Oh, thank you, friend. Whoa. And I have some clips in my jam pack. Clip that together. Clip this over here. <laughs> and then we take some pillows for some nice cushions. Whoa, it's looking really great and nice and soft so you don't bump your head. <laughs> Would you like to help me with the finishing touches, Blippi? Oh yeah, I'd love to. Okay. 
Let's put this last bag of balls in there. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> ball pit balls. Ball okay. pit balls. Here we go. <laughs> zip, zip, zip. Zip me. Oh, whoa, here we go. <laughs> whoa. whoa. <laughs> whoa. Okay, whoa. one last thing to do. Mm, what's that? Jump inside. Whoa. 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 <laughs> whoa. Yeah. This is fun. This is Whoa. fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've done a really good job making our fork. <laughs> we did. Oh. It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. And it has two of the three things great forks have. Mm -hmm. A cool entrance. That's the door. <laughs> yeah. Something unique. The ball pit. Woo! Woo! <laughs> we just need a really fun exit. Oh, I have a great idea. Oh. Wait right here, Blippi. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs> I wonder what Mika's idea is. Hmm. Whoa! Look, I found this in the backyard. Whoa! A ladder? Yes, some stairs for a slide. Whoa! A slide? That would be such a good idea for an exit. Well, well we have the stairs and, and the slide, mm -hmm. and we have some tools to put it all together. Oh, okay. Well, let's put it together maybe over there. Okay. Here we go. Whew. Great idea. Time to build. Here you go. <laughs> hammer for you and a hammer for me. Wow. It's looking really great, Mika. Yep. Now we just need to adjust it so it's the exit. Great. Wow. Whoa. That's awesome. Mm. And I think there's only one last thing to do now. Slide? Slide. You can go first. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. Here we go! Time to slide! <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Great job, friend. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Whee! Whoa, Mika, that was awesome! That was Whoa. so much fun! We did it! We made our fort so, so <laughs> awesome. And we got all the parts finished. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa, the only thing left is to dance now. Okay! Dance party! Woo! Well, Mika, now that we built our fort, what should we do? Oh, I know. Let's play some fort games. Whoa, I love <laughs> playing games. Do you think we should play a fort game together? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> so what should we play? Uh, oh, how about we play hot and cold? Oh, I like that game. Is that where <laughs> someone hides a dinosaur uh -huh. <laughs> and the other person tries to find it and they get hints that are either hot or cold uh -huh. if they're close or far away. That's exactly <laughs> it, Blippi. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a fun game. Well, who should go first? How about I hide the dinosaur first and you can find him? Okay, okay. I'm gonna go out there so you can hide it and then tell me when you're done. Okay, Flippy. <laughs> See you later. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Where should we put the dinosaur? Okay, Flippy. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Well, now we have to find the dinosaur. Okay, I'll look. See where it might be. Hmm. You're cold. Just like Antarctica. <laughs> okay, over here. You're still pretty cold. Well, maybe it's over here. Oh, but you're getting warmer. Don't see it over here either. But you're getting kind of oh. hot. Whoa. Hot like a volcano. Whoa. Ah! Look! I found it! It's our dinosaur! Yeah! Okay, Mika. Well, now, how about I hide the dinosaur and you go outside so that I can hide it? Okay, friends! Okay, I'll see you soon! Whoa, I wonder where we should hide this. Mika was really good at hiding you. Hmm. No, just the place. Okay, Mika, I'm all done. <laughs> well, let's see if Mika can find the dinosaur. Where'd that dinosaur go? 
Okay, you're getting cold, oh, like a cold frozen smoothie. Okay. <laughs> yep, you're still cold like Ooh. ice. Still cold. <laughs> you are as cold as an ice cube. Cold. As cold as <gasps> a giant, giant refrigerator freezer. Whoa, you're getting warmer. You're getting really warm. Hmm, maybe like a warm toasty panini. <gasps> oh, <laughs> yum. Whoa, you're getting hot like a bowl of soup. Oh. Or hot like, <gasps> like lava. lava. Or hot like <gasps> the sun. Or a star. Is the dinosaur in here? <laughs> You're getting really, really hot, but you gotta keep looking. <laughs> okay. Whoa, I think we did a good job. <laughs> you did a really great okay, job. Okay, cold, warmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo, you got it. This calls for a 10 second dance party. Dance party. Woo, we did it. We did Woo. it. We never, ever quit it. Whoa. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Mika, that was fun. Well, is there another game you think we can play together? Ooh, let's build an obstacle course. Well, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. An obstacle course is where you put up different objects. Obstacles. Yeah, obstacles. <laughs> things you might have to climb over or climb under or roll around. Oh, no, and we can time each other. Maybe, Mika, you can grab some blocks. Here. This is gonna be one fun obstacle course. Okay. Whoa! Okay, so here's how it goes. First, you need to walk over the pillow path. Then, roll over this big red tunnel. bumpy block. Yeah, and it's a tunnel, so then go under it, through the couch maze, into the ball pit, uh -huh. and down the slide! <laughs> yeah! Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to time you, Mika. Are okay. you ready? Yep. Set. Go! Uh... <laughs> Whoa, Mika. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Pop it! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, keep going, Mika. You're so close to the finish line. <laughs> Whoa! Mika, you did it! <laughs> Whoa, you were really fast at that obstacle course. Thanks, man. But I think it's my turn now. Okay. There you go. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> it was stuck on my hand. <laughs> All right, let me reset the watch. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> okay. Okay, on your mark. Get set. Go! Okay, here. Over the over pillow the path. bridge. Whoa. Whoa! You look like a turtle! <laughs> Woo! Almost there, Whoa. Flippy! Whoa. Wow! Whoa. Go, friend, go! Whoa. Okay, now down the slide into the exit! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> yeah! Woo, we did it! Woo! Whoa, that was really, really fun. Really fun. I think I need a little break from obstacle courses. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, but we had so much fun and we built this amazing fort. Yes. Mika, you have such creative ideas. Oh, thank you, Flippy. <laughs> so do you. And I love learning that the biggest doors are at the Kennedy Space what? Center. And they're bigger than the Statue of Liberty. Woo! That's really big. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with us? Okay, here we go. Ready? B L I P P I Blippi. <laughs> Good job. Can you spell my name with us? Great. M E E. K-A-H, -A 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 Mika! Well, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye! Bye, Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy! And it's me, Mika! Whoa! <laughs> and today we're at Candyland Indoor Playground! In Sherman Oaks, California! Yay! Whoa! And guess what? Today is... Opposite Day! day. Whoa! Whoa! Do you know what?
what an opposite is? Yeah, an opposite is one thing that is way different from another thing. <laughs> Just like up and down or big and small. <laughs> or happy and sad or hungry and full <laughs> and Blippi and Mika. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, and since today is opposite day, that's when you do everything in an opposite way. So instead of walking forward, you walk backwards. <laughs> Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> and look, I'm wearing your favorite colors today, blue and orange. <laughs> oh yeah, and Mika, I'm wearing your favorite colors, Ooh. purple and yellow. Ooh. <laughs> oh, and Mika, I have an idea. Yeah? You normally want to start your day with breakfast, but Today is opposite day, so let's start it with dinner, because yeah. breakfast and dinner are opposite. <laughs> hey, I saw a supermarket back there. Let's dance backwards. Okay, let's go find some tasty food. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. We made it to the grocery store. <laughs> Ooh, let's go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. We need to find all the ingredients to make dinner. <laughs> Whoa, and look, there's a little shopping cart here. <laughs> oh, but since it's opposite day, we'll drive it like this. <laughs> Whoa. Would you like some rice? Whoa, upside down rice. <laughs> I would love some. Ooh, and we should probably get some upside down crackers. <laughs> mm -hmm. $4. Oh, thank you. There you go. <laughs> Oh, uh oh, it's supposed to go that way! Whoa! <laughs> well, opposite day is pretty silly. Here you are, peaches, free of charge. Aw, free peaches? Yum! <laughs> but we also want to put some vegetables in our dinner, too. Right. So we have vegetables. Yum. And some corn. Ooh. Whoa, and mm, some other stuff, too. <laughs> Whoa! Thanks, Mika! Here they come! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Well, Mika, we have a lot of food here, but we need to cook it now. Oh, let's go to the kitchen. Oh, yeah! Whoa! Ooh. Let's put your apron on. Oh, yeah, Chef Blippi needs an apron. <laughs> Where's my apron, Mika? It's opposite day, so it's on your back. Oh, that's so silly. Oh, there it is. Oh, hmm. well, we want to see if there's any other fruits and vegetables maybe in the kitchen we can use. Ooh, yeah. let's check it out in here. Ooh. Oh, check it out. Ooh. Fruit and vegetables. Whoa, and look at these. <laughs> Mika, they're your two favorite colors. Well, they're your two favorite colors today. Oh yeah, <laughs> today my two favorite colors are yellow, whoops, <laughs> and purple. <Ooh. laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> we'll put those into our dinner. And look, there are other fruits and vegetables that are different colors, oh. like red, green, <laughs> definitely want some of those, <laughs> and Orange! Oh, one of my favorite colors. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Orange and blue are your two favorite colors today, Mika. <laughs> okay, well, now we just need to put some on some plates mm -hmm. and we need to put some in the oven. <laughs> Here we go. May I have some pepper, please? Oh, yes, you may. There you go. <laughs> Tasty. Ooh, so yummy. <laughs> Whoa, dinner's looking like it's almost done. Lippy, I have a great idea. Oh, what's that? What do you usually eat after dinner? Hmm. Do you know what you usually eat after you eat dinner? <laughs> yeah, that's right, dessert. <laughs> I love dessert. <laughs> well, since it's opposite day, let's have dessert before our dinner. Whoa, that's a great idea. <laughs> well, but we should probably also bring our food so we can still eat dinner. Yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> let's go. Whoa, here we go. <laughs> well, Mika, we made it. Hey. <laughs> mm. And before we eat dessert, before dinner, because it's opposite day, mm -hmm. we should probably pick out what we want to eat for dinner. Yeah. Hmm, Mika, what are you going to have? Uh, I would like to
like some mushrooms, please? Ooh, there are some mushrooms. And a carrot as well. Oh, and a carrot for you. Thank you. <laughs> I think I'm going to have some tuna fish <laughs> with a lemon. <laughs> well, we'll set this here for later, because remember, it's opposite day, we're having dinner for breakfast, but... We'll have ice cream first! <laughs> okay, now let's make some ice cream. <laughs> Whoa, check out all these flavors! <laughs> oh, there's so many! <laughs> oh, they're so colorful, too! Ooh, what flavor do you think this is? Hmm, it's brown, so it's Probably chocolate. <gasps> oh, tasty. Yum. Ooh, and look, this color is the color pink. Mm -hmm. What flavor do you think this ice cream is? Hmm, how about strawberry? <laughs> I love strawberry. <laughs> hmm. Oh, green ice cream. Whoa, Mika, is that broccoli flavored? Yeah, <laughs> extra nutritious. <laughs> yeah. Well, it may be probably kind of sort of might be mint chocolate chip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mika, can I make you an ice cream cone? Yes, please. How many scoops would you like? Four. Four <laughs> scoops of ice cream? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. One. Two. Three. And four Whoa. scoops. <laughs> And I'll give you a little bit of caramel on top. Ooh, tasty. <laughs> Thank you, friend. Mm, and Mika, could you help me make an ice cream cone? Of course. Mm. How many scoops? I think I'll just have one scoop of ice cream. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have room for dinner Whoa. later. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. One scoop. And how about some sprinkles? Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Do you hear that? Oh, yeah. Kind of sounds like... Shakers! Oh, and I love music. <laughs> I love ice cream. I love ice cream too. It's so, so tasty. tasty. <laughs> Whoa, that's a good ice cream song. Well, ice cream songs are so fun to sing before you have some ice cream. Oh, so Mika, here you go. But be careful. Remember, it's opposite day. So cold ice cream on opposite day is actually Lava hot! Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's really hot in here. Ready? <laughs> here we go. Cheers, cheers. Hurry before it melts. <laughs> <laughs> that was silly. Yes. And now that we had our dessert before dinner, <laughs> time to eat dinner. Yeah. Well, here's your dinner. Thank you. Yummy, yummy dinner. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty fun eating Are dinner. Are you ready to play? Yeah. Me Whoa. too. Hmm. I wonder what we'll do today. <gasps> Let's go explore. Okay, come on. <laughs> This fire station is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Check out this truck. Whoa, this fire truck looks so fast and loud. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. Ooh, safety gear. Whoa, yeah. After a fire, you probably need to repair some of the homes or buildings that caught on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Mika, is that a megaphone? Yes, it is! Mika! Firefighter Mika! It's time to save the day! Coming! <laughs> coming to save the day! <laughs> okay, Firefighter Blippi, we'll help you out! <laughs> Thank you very much! Oh, but wait a second, Mika. It's opposite day, remember? Yes. Maybe instead of being really loud, you need to be really quiet. Oh, yeah. Firefighter Mika. Oh, yeah. We need to go save everyone from the fire. Rear, rear, rear. Here I come. Rear, 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 rear. <laughs> <laughs> On opposite day, sirens that are normally very loud are actually very quiet. Rear, 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 rear. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> Whoa. And look at that. An actual firefighter helmet. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> and good thinking, Mika. <laughs> Backwards. Since it's opposite day. <laughs> oh, and since we're in the fire station, I don't need to have an apron anymore. <laughs> Put this over here. 
<laughs> Check it out. Whoa, what's that? It is a vest. Whoa, a fire vest. <laughs> oh, but there's only one. Hmm. You can have it. Aw, that's nice, but then you won't have one. Hmm, I'll let you have it. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I have one in my jam pack for you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was really thoughtful. And good planning, Mika. <laughs> yes, I love to plan. <laughs> okay. Firefighter helmet on. Mm -hmm. And my fire jacket mm -hmm. on, too. <laughs> and now we just need to go find a fire. Okay. Let me grab my extinguisher. Okay. And I'll grab the megaphone so I can be really quiet. <laughs> Here we go. Here we come Woo! to save the day. <laughs> Hurry! But firefighter Mika, uh -huh. wait a minute. It's opposite day. Instead of going forward, uh -huh. I think we need to drive backwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Woo! Mirror. Look at this ball pit. Ooh, so colorful. Oh, yeah. It's all different colors, mm -hmm. like green and pink. And blue and green. <laughs> Whoa, hey, and look, purple and yellow. Hey, <laughs> just like those slides. Oh, yeah. Those slides are also purple and yellow, mm -hmm. my two favorite colors, <laughs> today at least. <laughs> Since it's opposite day, let's go up the slides. Okay, you normally would go down, but it's opposite day. Let's do it! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, okay. Wait, let's check to see if anyone's coming down. Mm hmm Hmm, no one's coming down. And remember, always go down a slide. We have special permission from grown-ups to go up the slide today. Yeah! <laughs> okay, we'll see you at the top. <laughs> This is pretty slippery. <laughs> I made it! Whoa! And I Come on, Blue, made you're so too. close! Whoa! Woohoo! Whoa. <laughs> I made it too! Hey, this calls for a 10 second dance break! Yeah. We did it! We did it! We never ever quit it! We did, we did it! it. Yeah. <laughs> that was really fun. Hmm, but. I think I know just what to do next. What? Well, we went up the slides. Let's go down the stairs. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, we'll see you at the bottom. Woohoo! Ready, friend? Ready. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa, that was pretty fun. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> it sure is fun playing on opposite day. Yeah, and since it's opposite day, let's jump out of the ball pit instead of into the ball pit. <laughs> okay, but who should go first? Me. Okay. <laughs> okay, first, you wanna get covered with all the ball pit balls. Yes, please. Cover me up. Okay. There we go. Ready, and set, go! Ah! Oh! <laughs> okay. okay, you're next. Now it's my turn. Okay, I'm gonna try to get totally covered with ball pit balls. Here we go. See you soon. Woo. All right, all set. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. And I had a really great time celebrating Opposite Day with you. Oh, you came up with some great opposites. Mm, you did too. Oh, thanks, Ren. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, <laughs> all you have to do is search for our names. Hey, <laughs> since it's Opposite Day, can I spell your name and you can spell mine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we go. B-L-I-P-V-I. -I. Blippi. <laughs> and can you spell my name with me? Mika's name? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Mika. Good job. Well, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn.
about It'll make you wanna shout Blippi!